our group name is Balkan University of Terror. We're all working together to bring a collection of spectacles, models, animations to sort of emulate, sort of bring out the whole Halloween thing. In terms of um, the design process, we went for trying to capitalize on the whole food market here. We had some pretty cool stuff, like we had like a whole like, AR tracker for like a sippy straw thing, 3D food popping up, or sound by ghosts and shit. And even like interactive books where AR models of images coming out from books. There was a lot of things that stopped us from doing that. Firstly, it was a bit too ambitious. The focus of our thing was supposed to be more spectacle and entertainment, something more limited to that sort of regard. With that in mind, we decided to scale back a bit and just focus more on the Halloween. From there, we decided, all right, what's the most baseline Halloween thing we can focus on? And we decided to just kind of brainstorm. I kind of went for a simplistic zombie, like a kind of cartoony, Tim Burton-esque zombie. Animate it, rig it, model it all by myself. We have Dasha working on this really nice and really cool, creepy little girl with a balloon for a head and a holding a head on a string. For me, I just wanted to take something innocent and turn it into something creepy. Everyone likes to play with balloons. What if balloon wants to play with you too? I'm in charge of modeling some assets for our AR project. Basically what I came up with is a 3D chopped hand, some modeling, texturing, rigging and animating. These techniques are not new to me. I've done quite a bit of stuff from past projects so it was all pretty straightforward. It was all like familiar process of just taking references from my own hand into Maya and working my way from there. Seeing as we are AUT students, we're all in the campus, we go around, some really cool things to see. We're able to utilize those as the basis of our environment to insert the horror thing. That's why we kind of centralized on the whole spooky AUT. So it was a matter of getting the targets as well as understanding the general area so we can do a sense of scaling as to where everything was. We need to have the audience interact immersively in a way and we can only do that if we ourselves have that extra layer of understanding to the environment that we use in. What I enjoyed about this project is the fact that it gives us our own creative choice, this freedom of, kind of expressing our interests, and that interest just happens to be horror. The real thing that's important about this whole design thing is the creativity that came out of our team. Because what I found was interesting is that we really, really enjoy the creepy shit. We had a chance to experiment, didn't have to put any big meaning, created a lot of interesting and fun things. The only limitation is your mind, so you can just let your imagination go wild, and that's exactly what we did for this project and I really enjoyed that. It's fun, yeah? it's cool to sort of have each of these artists really interpret and kind of regurgitate what that means to them.